Hello you lovely lot, welcome back to a brand new week of videos, my name is Gamester and today I'm going to give my overall opinion on Cold War. Hello again you lovely lovely people welcome back to a brand new video thank you so much for joining me as always I hope you're keeping safe and well. So my friends today is the last day of the beta the cold hard fact is now if you wanted to try the beta and you go to download it by the time it's installed it'll be too late so if you missed your chance you're just going to have to wait until the game releases next month for you to have a try of it. So my friends, in today's video, I'm going to give you my final verdict on the Black Ops Cold War game. And yes, I was really impressed. I was really expecting to absolutely fucking hate this game. But I just don't. And to be fair, I think there was a lot of people who watch my channel and who know me personally who were also expecting me to hate this game. Well, guess what, guys? I really don't. And it's not like the alpha, the beta and the crossplay beta have been flawless because they really haven't. Every single one of them has had problems. But at the same time, I really enjoyed playing the game. It just felt like one of the old CODs. And that is a massive improvement. There's no boost jumping. There's no wall running. There's no fucking stupid specialists or anything like that. And guess what? The score streaks actually worked. They actually do their fucking job for once. It's absolutely amazing. But at the same time, there were a few issues. I'm not going to lie. But for the most part, it was still really enjoyable. So let's start off with the guns. I genuinely think that Cold War does a really good job of making each one of them feel unique and different. However, I just wish there was more choice Four guns in each category is really not enough in this day and age. Also, I believe that the recoil is pretty good, but the flinch is a little bit too excessive. I don't think it should be that bad, but that's just my personal opinion. Next is the maps. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I genuinely believe that this is some of the best map design I have seen in any Call of Duty game. Normally, we would get one or two decent maps, but this time, it seems like all of them, bar a couple, have been absolutely fantastic. I'm looking at you, Satellite. You can fuck off. You can suck my big fat hurry cock. I hate how easy it is to be spawn trapped on that piece of fucking shit map. But saying that, that's what gameplay I've got coming up for you. So, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't quote me on that. Next, the score streaks. Yes, as I said earlier, the score streaks are actually viable again. They're not completely useless. You used to see a lot of people using nothing but RCXDs simply because it was easy to use. So it would be RCXDs, care packages and possibly a Predator missile. That would be the go-to trio for most people. But now I've seen people using a lot of different score streaks and that is testament to how well they are designed i think there are a couple that might be a little bit too op like you've got the chopper gunner that you can use and control yourself that is a good score streak don't get me wrong but i think that it needs tweaking for example take away that big red fucking box that you have around every enemy player it's really not needed when you can clearly see every player do not have a big red box on showing where all the people are because that just makes it op in my personal opinion so my friends, now I get to tell you what I think need tweaking. The things that I think need major improvements done to them because they are going to hurt the game otherwise. First and foremost, right at the top of my list is the crossplay. 
Yep, I had most of my problems. I'd say around 80% of the problems that I have had with the Alpha, the Beta and the Crossplay Beta all happened during this last weekend on the Crossplay Beta. Now, in the current Call of Duty game, Modern Warfare, you have two options when it comes to crossplay, on or off. You can have it turned on or off. And what makes things worse is if you choose to turn it off in between every single fucking match, it will say, do you want to turn crossplay back on? No, you fucking stupid game. I wanted to turn it off. Stop asking me. Otherwise, I would go and turn it back on. So when this game is released, I want to see an option that doesn't just say on or off and then repeatedly asks you if you are sure that you want it turned off. I want an option that will leave you alone after you set it and it will give you three options. One will say on all crossplay enabled, two off all crossplay disabled and three all crossplay console to console only i genuinely believe that that will make a massive difference in this game and i can see a lot of people having that third option turned on instead of having full crossplay and because i don't want this video going on for too long the final tweak i'm going to say that is needed is the fact that the vehicles on combined arms and dirty bomb are way too op i do not think they should be as strong as they are with the exception of the boats on armada i think they are pretty well balanced but the tanks themselves and the helicopters are just op as fuck and they need tweaking drastically but now i am interested in what you lovely people think did you play the alpha the beta or the crossplay beta if so what did you think let me know in the comment section down below whether you agreed with me disagreed with me or you think i should have mentioned something that i didn't let me know down below and of course if you're new to the channel and you've not already subscribed then why not now would be a great time to do so because i upload monday through till friday every single week and i am trying to grow my channel i even try and stream on every weekday evening as well so if that's the kind of content schedule you would like to watch then please consider hitting that subscribe button and dinging that notification bell to get notified every time i upload you can even share it with your gamer friends if you think it's something that they might also enjoy and you can follow me on twitter at the address that's in the description down below finally you can give me a thumbs up if you like this content and give me a thumbs down if you don't because it really is that simple and i shall catch you lovely lot in the stream later on this evening and a brand new video tomorrow Capture all zones. We're capturing Bravo. Testing Bravo. Get the kill. Lethal out. Taken Bravo. <laughs> Only one zone to go. RCXD out. Capturing A. Stun set. Road stun. They're down to their last lives. Take them out. Shit, man.
Hostile forces are contesting okay. Alpha. sides. Defend all zones. Hostile forces are capturing B. Hold ahead. Fuel check, 50%. Defending A. I'm playing proximity mine. Artillery awaiting target coordinates. Your proximity mine has been destroyed. They're running out of lives. sides. Capture all zones. Stop. 
next time. We've All taken zones B. infiltrated. 